In this video, we'll talk about the superiority of discipline over motivation. Finally, it is important that you understand why being disciplined is more important than being motivated. To put it simply, being disciplined can impact your life in a more effective manner than being motivated. Let's look at some of the important reasons as to why discipline is superior to motivation. Duration. Being disciplined is a state of mind. Hence, it exists for a longer duration. On the other hand, motivation is more of a thought and is often based on the situation. You may be motivated to do a certain task today. That doesn't imply that you will be motivated to do the same task tomorrow. Motivation does not exist in a uniform matter at all times. You may be highly motivated now, but you might lack motivation during the rest of the day. However, disciplining your mind is an ongoing process and does not vary drastically. For example, if you are disciplined to hit the gym every day for an hour, you will do it no matter what. Stability. Discipline is more stable and is capable of helping you change your lifestyle in the long run. It will help you to make incremental changes to your life and get rewarded in the process. On the other hand, your motivation levels can be compared to the effects of consuming a drug. You feel extremely motivated at the beginning of the day. As the hours fly, your motivation levels also keep fluctuating drastically. Some of us need external stimuli to even get motivated at times. But once you discipline your mind, it doesn't have to be probed any further. Impact. The impact of motivation is only short-lived. You would appreciate the impact of motivation only for the time being, while it still lasts. For example, you lack the motivation to go to work. You will then look for an external stimulus to motivate you to get out of bed and get ready for work. The effects of the motivation are no longer felt or appreciated the moment you reach the office. As I already mentioned before, the benefits of self-discipline are capable of changing your life and can be felt in the long run too. Hence, disciplining yourself has a greater impact than being motivated. In other words, self-discipline is more effective in helping you improve your lifestyle than motivation. Energy Required in the case of motivations, sometimes we require external stimuli to get started, so a good amount of our energies will be spent trying to motivate ourselves. Once motivated, the rest of the energy will be spent towards completing the task. When you constantly rely on motivation to start your work, you feel handicapped and unproductive in the absence of an external stimulus. This has an impact on the quality of your work as well as your productivity. On the other hand, self-discipline trains your mind and body to function in a certain way. For example, you may discipline your mind to do a set of tasks as soon as you wake up. When this discipline exists, you don't need any kind of motivation to carry out these tasks. You will automatically be spending your energy and effort on completing these tasks. In other words, being motivated takes up a lot more energy than being disciplined. Promoting consistency. As I already mentioned, motivation is a temporary emotion. When you rely on motivation to commence your work, there will be times when you abstain from working just because you don't feel like it. In the absence of any motivating factors, you will not be mentally prepared to undertake any activity. If you're forced to work on something despite lacking the motivation to do so, the quality of your work will be severely impacted. You will not be able to apply your efforts in a consistent manner. On the other hand, if you are self-disciplined, you will be able to focus your work irrespective of your state of mind. Your efforts will be channelized in a consistent manner, irrespective of how motivated you feel to work. Thus, being disciplined helps in ensuring that your productivity levels are not affected and the quality of your work is not compromised. To put it in simpler terms, you will be solely dependent on your mind or rather your discipline to guide you and not look for any external stimuli to make you focus on work. It's because of the consistency element. You need to be disciplined first before you look for motivation. There may be situations in life where no matter how hard you try, you will not be motivated. 
but you still must deliver your best. In such circumstances, if your mind is already disciplined to take action, you will be able to handle the situation in a calm and composed manner without having to worry about motivational factors. Sustainability. You will be able to sustain your self-discipline for a longer period of time. In fact, once you discipline your body and mind to behave in a certain way, unless you decide to change it, you will be able to sustain your state of mind. Your self-discipline will help you sustain your energy levels as well, since your efforts will be more channelized and efficient. Hence, self-discipline is more of a self-fueling system. On the other hand, motivation is a short-lived phenomenon. You will have to expend a lot of energy and rely on so many other factors to stay motivated at all times. Hence, motivation becomes difficult to sustain over a longer duration. These are some of the important reasons why self-discipline is far superior to motivation. You become a self-sufficient individual when you are disciplined.